Okay, today is October 24th, is that right? October 25th, my God, it's only three months till Christmas. Two months till Christmas. Two months till Christmas. Holy mackerel. Exciting times. Uh, your first question in your warm-up here for grade 8 says three-fifths plus one and three-quarters. Now, because it's addition, a lot of people know they can just take that whole number and bring it down and add the three-fifths and three-quarters together. And when you add fractions together, Taylor, they require what? Common denominators. So our common denominator is the first multiple at 5 and 4 share, which is 20. The equivalent fraction to 3 fifths it has a denominator of 20. Uh, we can multiply both numerator and denominator by 4 to create that equivalent fraction, which means 12 twentieths and 3 fifths are the same number. If you don't believe me, 12 divided by 20 as a decimal is 0.6. And 3 divided by 5 as a decimal is also 0.6. So both 3 fifths and 12 twentieths uh, represent 60% or 0.6. The equivalent fraction to 3 quarters, if I multiplied 4 by 5 to get 20, do the same to the numerator, I get 15 twentieths. And again, 15 divided by 20 would be decimal 7, 5. 3 divided by 4 would be decimal 7, 5. Once we have that, we're going to add our numerators and keep our denominator to get 27 twentieths, which is equal to 1 and 7 twentieths, all right? So our fraction part, parts added together becomes 1 and 7 twentieths. We already brought down our whole number of 1, so 1 plus 1 and 7 twentieths gives us a final answer of 2 and 7 twentieths. Any questions with that? Okay. Your second question uh is similar, very similar to the first question. The only difference is uh, in the first question, I gave you one and three quarters as your mixed fraction. In the second question, I kind of cryptically made it into a mixed fraction. I said it's four fifths plus one half times three. So the question you need to ask yourself first is what is one half times three? And another way to think of it is if you have a half of something and you tripled it, how many halves would you have? The answer is three halves. So therefore, this same question could be 4 fifths plus, instead of saying a half times 3, we can use the improper fraction of 3 halves, because that's what the product of a half times 3 is. That's from section 6.1, the one we just finished. Now that we have it written as a proper fraction plus an improper fraction, it's really simple. Find your common denominator. In this case, we're going to have 10. Make your equivalent fractions, which would be 8 tenths plus... 15 tenths, much easier with improper fractions than it is with mixed fractions. Because now you just add your numerators, keep your denominator, you get 23 tenths, which is a correct answer, it's just improper. As a mixed fraction, it would be 2 and 3 tenths. Your third question uh, again, it expands upon it, the same idea that we just did here. We have a product of a fraction and a mixed fr and a whole number, and the product of a fraction and a um, whole number. So we're going to simplify that first. If I have two-thirds and I double it or multiply it by two, how many thirds would I have? The answer is you'd have four-thirds. If you double two-thirds, you'd have four-thirds. And if you quadrupled or multiplied by four a half, how many halves would you have? You would have four halves. Now, some smart people in the room, some smart people in the room probably put 4 over 2 as just 2, but we're going to just pretend we didn't see that. We're going to go with our first multiple of 3 and 2 share in our denominators, which is 6. Multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. Multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. Multiply 2 by 3 to get 6. Multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. So now we have two improper fractions that we're adding together. Add your numerators, 8 plus 12. Keep your denominator, 6. Your answer is 26. But since teachers like uh, answers expressed as mixed fractions, how many 6s in 20? How many left over to get to 20? Because you're at 18 sixths right now. right? This, this 3 really represents, if I put it up here, 18 sixths, right? But how many 6s do I have? I have 26, which means I have 2 sixths left over. 
which is three in lowest terms and a turd. Three and a turd. Any questions with that one? Did I make a mistake? No. And your last question is just like the third question, except we have subtraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is follow my bed mass. I have two multiplications I have to figure out first. If I have four fifths and I double it, how many fifths should I have? I have eight fifths. If I had one third and I multiplied it by four, how many thirds would I have? Four thirds. Those are pretty easy, aren't they? Multiplying a fraction by a whole number, especially if you ask that right question. If I have four fifths and I double it, how many fifths would I have? Now we have the subtraction of two fractions. First common multiple, five and three, three shares, 15th. That's my lowest common denominator. Five by three gives me the 15 down here. So I'm going to multiply my numerator by three to get 24. Three times five is 15. Multiply my numerator by five to get 20. This is actually quite easy because it's now keep your denominator, subtract your numerators. 24 take away 20 is four. So your final answer is 4 fifteenths.